We're waiting too long to go after Kilbane. I was thinking the same thing. Come to the Broken Shillelagh. We can all talk there. Alright, I am done fucking around. I want Kilbane. You wanna hurt Kilbane? You gotta hurt his reputation. So, what, we humiliate him? <sighs> Can't we just kill the bastard? Take Kilbane's mask and all that's left is Eddie Pryor. It's worse than killing him. I don't know, this is more Angel's thing. Kilbane would never agree to fight Angel. Well, he's more scared of Angel than me. Yeah, no offense, but you're kinda ridiculous. Relax. You don't look hot in the speedo. Tennessee left you that weapon. What? The RC gun. You'll need it to take control of the luchador vehicles. Why not just shoot them? These are supposed to look like accidents, remember? Will I be able to use it from this high? Mm -hmm. Right. Is Kilbane really that afraid of you? He knows I'm better than him. And you think he'll fight me? If there's no more contenders, he'll have to. Easier just to kill him. Easier, yes. But nothing worth doing is easy. When you raise Kilbane's mask to the screaming crowd, you'll know you made the right choice. I'll take your word for it. Folks, get those hepatitis vaccines updated because the blood will be flying soon at Murderball 31. Right you are, Zach. And who better to announce the official lineup than the champion himself, Kilbane? Oh, you know, opponents have been arriving from all over to face their fears and meet the architect of their demise. So stay tuned as the press conference will be coming to you live from the Three Count Casino within the hour. I can't wait. Murderball, Murderball, Murderball! That witch door heading towards the car is the Mad Mangler, Little Roberts. Mad Mangler, huh? So running over a bunch of people is probably his hobby. Uh, actually, he's pretty late right back. Fine, roid rage then. Work with me here, Angel. Let's get to the press conference. Hey, what's wrong with this car? There goes my career! 
Should have laid out the juice. Who's next? Christopher the Clubber Johnson. He should be on his boat now. No wonder there are no seals around here. Breaking news. Minutes ago, mad mangler Merle Roberts, a luchador slated to compete in the upcoming Murder Brawl 31, ran over several pedestrians in what witnesses say was a rage-induced vehicular massacre. His body is being pulled out of the fiery wreckage as his career ended at a dead end. This is Jane Valderrama with a breaking news report. This thing's pretty fun, Kenzie. Top four one night and three together. You really need to get laid. Electronics are good for that, too. Uh, wow. Steelport as two boats lost control within minutes of each other, resulting in the deaths of the drivers, other boaters, and partygoers on a nearby pier. Is this a boating stunt gone horribly wrong, or is death smoothing out a wrinkle in his design? This is Jane Valderrama with a breaking news report. Did he just jump out? No, that was the pilot. Trash can must be flying now. Don't lose him. I won't. That's done. There any more? I've saved the worst for last. El Presidente. What's the problem? <sighs> He's reached out to Stag for protection. He's afraid that Kilbane will try to kill him before the match. He's half right. Time to take over a tank. I think Stag's about to cause an accident. This just in. It was shades of the great bootlegger recall of Aught 7, as yet another mechanical failure resulted in a fatal mid-air helicopter crash. Citizens of Steelport, a word of advice. Pull over now. This is Jane Valderrama with a breaking news report.
Ladies and gentlemen, the Stillwater Butcher has graced us with their presence. You want to fight the best? You fight me. The best? <laughs> the best is beating Sway the Spider God in a Tijuana scaffold match. The best is defending the world title 13 times in one night. The best is winning a last man standing match with two broken legs! Trust me, little Icarus. You're flying too close to the sun. Oh, my God. Quit being a bitch and put your mask up. If you want to be broken by the walking apocalypse, I will gladly oblige you.